Hello guys, this is Hedia, and this is the first video I'm doing on, on my Linux tutorial series, so I wanted to start off with something simple. I'm going to make a quick introduction video on the apt package tool for Debian based systems. Since I'm running Linux Mint, which is based on Ubuntu, which is also based on Debian, it's going to use the apt package tool for updating, installing, and removing packages, as well as the system kernel itself. I'm not going to go over how to update the kernel right now, that's a more advanced video, but I'll go over some of the basics in this video. So anyways, let's get started. Alright guys, so as an example of using the apt command to install a package, I'm going to test it out using Firefox. So right now if I type in Firefox in my terminal, it will say that Firefox was not found because I do not have it installed. I mean, when I installed Linux Mint, Firefox was there but then I removed it. I'll show you an example. So, I could use the, as it says on the terminal right now, I can use the sudo apt install command to install Firefox, and that will install Firefox to the latest version. But I want to be a little bit more technical about it. So, when you use the apt command, you do have a few options to install multiple versions of Firefox, not just the latest one. To see that, just type in apt policy, policy is the switch here and then Firefox, the name of the package you want to install. And doing so, it will give me a few, it will show that I have no version of Firefox installed, but I have three options. 89 with the Linux Mint plus Ulyssa, 89 build 2, which is another option, and then 75, which is build 3. So in this case, say I want to install the earliest build, Firefox 75 plus build 3. In order to do that, I would type in sudo, because you have to be super user for this apt install and again if I just typed in Firefox and clicked enter it would install the latest version I don't want to just install the latest version I want to install version 75 so instead of just typing in Firefox I would type in Firefox equals the version number 75.0 and then the rest of it plus build 3 plus Ubuntu 0 Ubuntu 1. You don't have to add the 500 at the end. I don't know what that is yet. I'll probably uh, make a video about that later, but yeah. Just type in sudo apt install Firefox version 75 bell 3. And then just type in your password. I'm really sorry about the uh, background noise. I don't have exactly the uh, best the quiet the quietest uh, studio to make these videos but all right so it's installing it's, it's installing any dependencies as well such as a uh, fonts licks fonts licks yeah. anyways so now if I type in Firefox it gives me this message you're using an older version of Firefox uh, I'll just say well, I'm just going to quit it for now. I don't want to run it, but yeah. If I just type in... Where is it? Just give me a sec. Alright, so if I just look for apt policy again with Firefox. It now says that I have version 75 installed. So it is running on my sy I mean, it is installed on my system. It's just... If I run it, I'll have to create a new profile, which I don't want to do. And also, to update your system, well actually I want to go over the installation of Firefox first, but just to give you an example, if you were, were to update your system using the apt command, you would type in sudo apt update, and then you would type in your password, and over here it says I have one package that can be upgraded, and that's because I have the old version of Firefox installed. Otherwise normally if your package are, packages are up to date, it would say there's nothing left to update. And over here it shows all the repos I have installed for all the software I have. I may or may not blank this out in the video. Um, but yeah. So anyway, to check the packages that can be upgraded, just type in apt list upgradable as it says in the output. And now you can say now you can see that it says that I have Firefox. New versions of Firefox are available. And then I can use the dash a switch to see which version specifically. So if I type in apt list upgradable dash a, 
Now it gives me a more detailed list. So it has the earliest version of Firefox that is upgradable, but it's also installed. Then there's the uh, local updates, version 89 with build 2. And then there's the most recent one, which is also version 89 with uh, Linux Mint, Ulyssa. It's the official version for version 89 for Linux Mint. Now this isn't the most up-to-date Firefox is in general, like if you want the latest version of Firefox overall, you can just go on the website and install it, or you can, you know, if you're using an Arch-based system, it'll have the latest version available. But with Debian and Ubuntu and, you know, Linux Mint, they, preserve, they try to hold back the latest updates a little bit before they become stable. But anyways, let's try to upgrade to the uh, second version, because if I just type in sudo apt upgrade and then a dash y command because it's going to prompt me whether I want to continue dash y just tells it yes before it asks me that but if I were to type in sudo apt upgrade it would upgrade to the very latest version now that's cool and all but what if we want to upgrade to the second latest or a specific version well for that instead of typing in dash y you would do the following you would type in sudo apt upgrade then you would type in well basically you would just highlight this Firefox focal updates um, no no you wouldn't do that you would type in Firefox equals similar to the install command then the version 89.0 is listed here and then plus the build command so plus build to zero Ubuntu zero all the way till this point you can avoid the AMD 64 and it will okay I should have typed in dash Y but yes this is the do you want to continue prompt guys if there's a lot of background it's just that annoying bird and the church bells in the background. I'm really sorry. I live in a very chaotic, well, not a chaotic, very congested area, so. But anyways, apt policy Firefox. And now we can see there are three stars over the 89 build. And, it can si and then it says that it's installed version 89 build 2. So we now have the uh, semi-recent, semi-most recent version of Firefox. So let's see if this one runs without giving any error messages. And it does. We now have Firefox fully running, no error messages. Well, it gives this parent run error message, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna research how to fix that one. But anyways, let's see if we wanted to upgrade to the most recent version. And this is something you can do generally to upgrade to the most recent versions of all your packages that the, your repos allow so sudo apt upgrade dash y and it is now installing the most recent version of Firefox the uh, Linux Mint 1 plus Ulyssa one the one all the way on top so now that we type in apt policy Firefox to check our version it now says we have the most recent version of Firefox installed and again, just uh, type in Firefox. And let me see if I can go over to About. Yes, it's the version 89.0. So it doesn't tell me which specific version. It's, it's the most recent one available for Linux Mint. So that is how you can update packages and install specific version of pa versions of packages. To update your whole system, just type in sudo apt update and it'll go through the whole process of updating your repositories. This updates the repositories guys, it doesn't update the uh, packages themselves. Um, I was reading a little bit earlier over here but anyways, just ignore that. Hold on, let me just bring the terminal back. But anyways, to update the packages themselves, sudo apt upgrade dash y and this will upgrade all your packages in your system that are 
upgradable via your repositories or PPAs. Um, there are some packages that can't be upgraded, such as container packages or packages that are .deb files. Basically packages that you, or tar files basically, packages that you manually install that are not installed via, rep, via your repository. You can't up upgrade those with the apt command, you have to do those manually. I mean there's a way to do it automatically, but you have to build that from source in order to do so. But anyways, because I just updated Firefox, it's saying that I don't have any upgrades available. And the last version is sudo apt dist upgrade and this will upgrade your entire version the inversion of your operating system to the latest version if there's a new version available right now there isn't for Linux Mint so if I do so it says nothing left to up nothing to upgrade and the dist upgrade is useful because in case upgrade holds back a package for some reason you can just use the dist upgrade to forcefully update it without using the dash f command to forcefully update it. It's useful when there's a bunch of packages being held back at once, you don't have to do them once at a time. But you do have to be careful because you don't want to update to the latest version of your operating system by mistake. And I say that I wanted to remove Firefox, well there's a couple of commands such as dash r to remove it, or I think it's dash rm, yeah dash rm probably. Or whatever. I, I don't. I don't really use the remove command that much because it leaves the re the dependencies of the package. So instead, I'm going to use sudo apt purge Firefox dash y. This will remove not only Firefox but all its dependencies. So it's removing a uh, xul ext u ubu fox dependency. And then Firefox is also removed. And if there are any dependencies left, you can just type in sudo apt auto remove. And this will basically, yeah, I guess this one was uh, left behind actually. But it removed the last dependency that was left with Firefox. So if I were to type in Firefox again, it says Firefox is not installed in the system. So yeah, that's that basically. And this is how you can install, update, and manage packages from the CLI, the terminal. But there are other ways you can do it, for example, from the GUI. So, if you want to just update the system, you can just go to the Update Manager, click Refresh to search for any updates that are available. And if there are any updates available, you can just uh, click Install Updates and it'll install them. To manage your repositories, just go to Edit Software Sources. Type in your password. And then it'll show you your official repositories, any PPAs you have installed, any additional repositories, your keys, authentication keys, and etc. etc. Et you can basically manage all your repositories from here. If you want to do this using the well, if you want to use this using CLI, I'm going to make a separate video on that when I go over apt again in the future. Because there are sources lists, files in the etc sources, sources list I believe. I'll go over the whole Linux file system in a future video and then I'll go over how to update the uh, repositories, how to manage them in that video so, via command line. So you don't have to use the GUI, but the easiest way is just to use the update manager. And if you want to install software, for Linux Mint specifically, there is the Software Manager. Well, it's not exactly exclusive to Linux Mint, it's also available for Ubuntu. But, it is pretty specific for Linux Mint. because It, it, just, gives you a, it just gives you a Linux Mint version. This one's called Mint Install, but the software is the same for any Ubuntu-based distribution. From here, you can install any of the software available. This one does not have all the software available for Debian, or even all the software available for Linux Mint or Ubuntu itself. It just has the ones that are that the developers thought would be convenient for you to have. So as you can see here, you have 
Arduino, development boards, calculator, etc. A Bible study tool, Tux Math, Scilab. You have internet options. You can install Firefox from here. And it's version 89, the latest version available for Linux Mint. Just click install, enter your password, and then it'll install it for you. And then you can also uninstall it. Because once it's installed, there'll be a remove option here, so you can uninstall it. Though keep in mind, the remove option will not purge the dependencies. You will have to type in sudo apt auto remove in your command line after removing it to remove the dependencies if you want. And, and lastly, if the software installer is not enough and you want most, if not all, the Debian packages available, there's a second package manager available, it's called Synaptic. So when you type in Synaptic in your search, it'll ask you to enter your password. And then yes, you're here at the Synaptic package manager. And this one has all the packages available in the Debian repository. Well, not all of them. There's some that are missing. You'll have to add additional uh, PPAs or Depending on which version of the Debian repository you're using, some packages may be filtered, others may not. But the Debian Synaptic Package Manager has a larger number of packages than the uh, software manager for Linux Mint or Ubuntu. There's a lot here. And if you want to install something, for example, let me just find something simple. Well, I'm not going to actually install anything because I don't want to go through the hassle, but. Let's see, editors, um, okay, say you want to install Sublime Text, just mark this for installation, and then click apply, and then it will install it for you, along with any dependencies, and then you can unmark it, and then click apply again after you've installed it, and it will remove it from your system, and then you can check the repositories here, well, from here as well, it's the same software sources as in the update manager. So it's getting all these packages from the same repositories you have installed in your update manager, so if you want to add more packages here, just update your repositories in the update manager. Then you have preferences, you can edit that. And yeah, you can choose to lock a version, so when you do further updates using Synaptic or from command line, the locked versions of certain packages you click on will not update, which is pretty useful for keeping them stable. You can also choose to fix broken packages from here. But yeah, that's basically the Synaptic Package Manager, and basically how you install and remove packages in Debian, Ubuntu, and Linux, Linux Mint based systems. So anyways, I hope you guys had a good one, I hope you learned something from this, and I will make a couple of videos in the upcoming week on super how to use the sudo command and super users, and probably another video, I haven't decided yet on which one, but I will. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know in the next video. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good one, and peace out.